I want to just say thank you because you have given so tremendously. Because you give here at Living Waters, people who attend our church regularly receive free Bibles here. And these are always free up here on the, on the front of the stage. You can always pick those up anytime you have a Bible. Also, because you give, breakfast is served every morning here at Living Waters because you give. Because you give, when we order a now, when we order a box of Bibles, at the same time, a box of the same Bibles go down to downtown Atlanta to uh, um, uh, help me out. Rescue. Not rescue Atlanta. Uh, yeah. Drink Center of Atlanta. And what we do is we send a case of Bibles to them because when they rescue ladies from sex trafficking, they're able to get a free Bible that we provide there. Because you gave last month, we were able to give actually food donations and we sent it to uh, First Baptist Church here in Riverdale. And we were able to help them to restore their food pantry. Because you give, as you notice, we are slowly uh, modernizing our campus. In fact, next Sunday you'll see some other changes that are taking place this week. Uh, modernizing our campus. Uh, got the awnings on this week. And, and we were hoping, we were all hoping to have our landscaping done this week, but they, we had to order the plants that are going there. And so hopefully this week we can get that done. Because you give, we're able to enhance our, camp, enhance our campus so that our guests and people can come. And most importantly, because you give, people are comfortable bringing their unchurched friends, their unchurched family members, and their unchurched neighbors. And unbelievers come and hear the life-changing truth that God cares for them and that Jesus Christ died for their sins, that they become fully, fully devoted followers of Christ. If I can take just a few moments to share with you, because you give, when you give, you give of your tithes, but also you give of your offerings. And sometimes you give because you give because you don't have, that's like a seed for you to give. And I wanted to share just three quick principles with you this morning regarding giving. Number one, you will always reap what you sow. If you reap bitterness and hatred, you will receive bitterness and hatred. If you receive uh, good nature, you will receive good nature. If you sow an apple seed, you will receive apples. If you sow an orange seed, you will receive oranges. When you sow financially, like you've been doing to our Good to Great campaign, as you've been doing by giving of your resources to give food for our breakfast and for the food pantry across town, that is a seed. Let me tell you about what happens to that seed. When you sow financially, you will reap financially. When you also understand this, that when you sow financially, principle number two, is that you will always reap more than you sow. You put one seed in the ground of an apple, it will grow an orchard of an apple, of a tree with lots of it. And finally, the third principle is this. You will always reap, and farmers, you guys know this, and we do gardens, you will always reap in different seasons. And I was sharing this with our small group this morning. A lot of people will give to God today expecting that when they get home, a miracle will be in the mailbox. What you sow today will may come to you in another season. Okay? So don't give up doing good. Continue to give. Because we're hearing testimonies after testimonies right now of people who gave in the midst of their struggle are now reaping in financial harvests in the midst. Don't be weary, get weary in well-doing. God knows your seed. In fact, when you give the finances, not only are you getting your seed from God, He's the farmer. And He will cause that seed to grow and prosper and bring you into prosperity. Amen? Amen. 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 God, we thank You for those who give so faithfully. Father, I pray a special blessing upon the tithers and those who give here at Living Waters. I pray a blessing over them and over their finances, over their household. That you will live according to your promise, that the devourer will be rebuked for their sake, God, because they give. Father, I pray you, the great farmer, will begin to, to water the seeds that they're sowing into this faithful ministry. And that, Father, that you will continue to bless their harvest. And open up that windows of heaven that they will not have room enough to contain. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.